Hey everyone, how's it going? I just wanted to pop on here and give you an understanding of what this channel is all about, which is going to be pretty difficult because I haven't 100% worked it out myself yet. What's going on? Nothing. See, I'm making a video, right? Yeah, but what about? Well, I was just telling them I'm, I'm not sure what this channel is going to cover. Dude, it's a mismatch at the moment. I know, but I've been creating all through 2020 and I just didn't want the work to go to waste. Just tell them about my channel and sat this one off. It's not about you, your channel's doing okay. So I'd appreciate a bit of space. Dude, you've done all the watching on YouTube. All those hours spent, how to grow my channel in 2020, how to grow my channel in 2021, how to gain more subscribers, how to gain more followers on Instagram, TikTok. Where's it got you? It's a process. Come on, process. I've gained 700 subscribers in six months, creating quality, relevant content. Um, hang on, I put that content on your channel. You just kick a soccer ball about. How hard can that be? Actually, you don't. You're too old to kick a soccer ball about. You just show people how to do it. And you're too old for YouTube. We're the same age, you melt. But you need to be yourself. I'm true to my profession. I love the game. I love football. I have knowledge. I know what I'm talking about. I understand all that, which is why I'm trying to teach myself filmmaking, photography, vlogs, all the cool stuff. Yeah, all that cool stuff where Peter McKinnon rules the waves. Matty, Chris, Peter Lindgren, all those guys you watch. You're not them. And I get that, but there's no harm in learning new skills. McKinnon, Peter, Matty, as you say, they're all brilliant at what they do. Why wouldn't I learn from them? So you binge on Casey Neistat through lockdown and then make a few vlogs that no one's watching and no one's ever gonna watch. I haven't made them for people to watch. I made them to document my life. Come on. I also made them to help me improve as a filmmaker, as you know. And that's benefited you, by the way. Yes, it is, and I'm very grateful. So what kind of defeatist attitude is this you're giving me? Is this how you motivate your players? No. So why don't you leave me to get on talking to them about my channel? There is no them. You've got 61 subs. And what if just one of those subs got something out of my channel? Surely when you're coaching, you just want one person to influence. At least one person. If you influence one person, that's a win for me. So have you told them about some of the content you're planning? No, I've read that you shouldn't do that. People aren't here to see what you're going to do. They're here to see what you're doing right now. People aren't watching at all. I've had a few views. You know that. That content I put out about New York skyscrapers, it's got nearly 1,300 views. But it's all been done before, dude. Then maybe I'll try and do it better. Besides, your content's been covered before. Soccer Coach TV got your sector nail, my old son. What makes you any different? Ah, I've got you editing my content. Ah, there you go. That's more like the motivation you need to be dishing out. Why don't you just say, thanks for being here, stick with the channel, because over the next few months you're going to be helping me with my dissertation. So you're not going to have time to create anything. Dissertation? Oh, he's 48 years old. He's got friends who could be his grandchildren. Right, let's not go there. Have you got content ideas for your channel? Yeah, I've got loads of ideas. Then stop chatting and get creating. You make a good point. He makes a good point. And make sure you smash the like button on this video. If you'd be so kind. Just like Peter McKinnon. And subscribe. And subscribe. And if they like soccer, point them in my direction. His channel is linked here and in the description below. Go and check it out. The editor is amazing. Listen, you need to either wear a cap or get your hair sorted. You look a mess. Why are you always wearing black anyway? Because it doesn't make me look too overweight.